Hey there! Welcome to Clean Cut and let's talk about the truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. So far we've talked about the proper place of science and logic and how logic can apply to anything coherent, but science can only be used to understand certain things, namely things you can measure. This is almost all we need to begin a study of the universe, but before we can start proving things about the universe, we need to understand proof. Proof is when you have enough evidence, or a good enough logical argument, to establish that a statement is true. In other words, when the evidence or argument is strong enough, you've proven something true. And there's a few ways to do this. Obviously we can prove certain things through personal experience. For example, if there's a blue duck sitting right in front of me, that proves that ducks can be blue. Now some people will say, that doesn't prove anything, it might be a hallucination. Well, yes, it might be. But as we mentioned in episode 6, we need a reason to doubt our conclusions. I shouldn't jump to the conclusion that I'm experiencing hallucinations unless I have some reason to believe that. Obviously then, experience is the most direct and clear method of proving something. There's scientific proof as well. When I use science to perform a test, the results of the test usually prove something. This is another valid means of proving something. Then there's mathematical proof. Mathematics is a field that deals in abstractions, but they're very real and valid abstractions, so when I use math to say that 3 plus 5 equals 8, you can consider that proven. Lastly are the logical proofs, presented using arguments and reasoning. In these arguments, two or more statements are made, and another statement follows from them. If the statements really are logical and a sufficient argument, you've made a logical proof. Now there are two main ways to do this, through deduction and through induction. It's a little confusing when I say it like that though, so instead I'll give you an example of each. Deduction is when you start out with some general knowledge, and from that general knowledge, you learn something specific. For example, all the eggs in this house are green. All the eggs that I have are in this house. Therefore, all the eggs that I have are green. Induction is a little different. It's when you start out with some specific information and use it to learn something general. Some people say this isn't really a way to prove anything absolutely, but the truth is, it can be. Let me give you an example. John Roberts isn't a tyrannosaur. Antonin Scalia isn't a tyrannosaur. Anthony Kennedy isn't a tyrannosaur, etc. and so on. After I go through all the Supreme Court justices in this way, I can conclude, therefore, there are no American Supreme Court justices who are tyrannosaurs. Now this is the way inductive logic is used to prove something, and it's just as valid a means of proving things as deduction is, but I might not use it very much, because with only a few exceptions, it's kind of a long way to get information. These are the main ways that we can prove things, and if we can prove it, then it must be true. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.